It is Friday, April 15th. I'm Alicia Smith. Here are your headlines from 7 Action News. This morning, we are working to learn more information about a crash involving a Detroit police SUV. This happened on the Southfield Freeway near McNichols around 2 in the morning. It appears the DPD cruiser was rear-ended by another vehicle. No word yet on if anybody got hurt. Meantime, fire crews were called to the Packard plant in Detroit overnight after several small fires broke out. Right now, it's not clear what caused those fires at the plant there off East Grand Boulevard, but they do appear to be suspicious. Just last week, a Wayne County judge ordered the owner of the plant to demolish it, saying it had become a public nuisance. Of course, we're working to get more information about the fires from the Detroit Fire Department. When we get you updates, we will bring them to you. It's going to be raining marshmallows in Wayne County today. The Easter Bunny is going to be dropping more than 20,000 marshmallows from the sky. All the fun will start at 9 o'clock at Elizabeth Park in Trenton. Then the Easter Bunny has to Nankin Mills in Westland at 11 a.m. He'll be releasing another 20,000 fluffy treats from that helicopter and all the kids go wild. Well, happening today, the Aretha Franklin Amphitheater is ready to welcome guests back. This will be for the 2022 season. The box office opens back up at 10 o'clock this morning and there will be some big shows. June 24th, r &B stars Mario and Lloyd Bobby Valentino, along with Maya, will be taking the stage. And then on July 13th, Melanie Fiona will be joined by Carl Thomas for a night filled with love songs. And then August 6th, Music Soul Child will be bringing his soulful songs to the Aretha. You can grab tickets on Ticketmaster or on the theater's website. Well, gusty winds and showers in the forecast for our Friday. Temperatures near 50 north of the city and then low to mid 50s from Detroit southward. It'll be a chilly weekend overall. Our highs only in the 40s, but it looks dry both Saturday and Sunday before rain snow mix returns on Monday.